I'm going to start this video by saying that creepypastas fell off, which isn't a surprise by any means. The reason for this isn't that creepypasta stories got worse, because they were already pretty bad to begin with, it's because we grew up. I think we all agree that the video of a guy yapping about how the lost episode of Spongebob killed all of his family isn't scary, at least not anymore. When I was young, I used to find pretty much every creepypasta video scary, even though most of them consisted in a guy hitting his microphone with a forest background. Creepypasta videos could be easily identified even without the title. They all have a poorly made thumbnail that was probably made on MS Paint, and the clip of the video would consist on a guy telling an obviously fake story while a random ass background plays, and sometimes a jump scare. But even though creepypastas aren't scary anymore, it's sad seeing a whole horror genre disappear. Well, it's not actually disappearing, it kind of evolved into a new type of scary video. Analog Horror This type of video got really popular in the last years, and ultimately took the spot that creepypastas used to have in the horror community and YouTube. And it's no surprise why this change happened. Analog horror actually invests in the visuals and the story always feels original, unlike 99% of all creepypastas that just seem to all have the same story but with different characters. If you have watched my video on the VHS tapes of the All House, you'll know what I mean. This video series, created by Bubble Navy, flawlessly transforms the normal ambience of the All House into a horror experience. Although the story of her VHS tapes is kind of a mess right now, the visuals that she makes are really unsettling and unique. If you're a fan of the All House and like to have a hard time sleeping, I highly suggest you to go see her work. I will leave a link down in the description to her YouTube channel and to her TikTok, since she posts mainly there. Well, today I'm not here to talk about the VHS tapes again. I'm here to show you and scary the All House creepypastas. And I don't think I need to mention this, but I don't want anyone to go arrest any of the creators of the videos slash stories I will show here today. With that aside, let's see how unscary these creepypastas really are. So, the first video we will be viewing today is called Creepypasta Archive, The Owl House Lose Suit Lost Episode. I bet just reading that title made you shiver your timbers. The video begins with the normal intro of the show, but the image is all distorted, so much so that I could barely tell what is happening, and the audio is only a loud static noise with some random screams. Right after the intro ends, we are introduced to this scene, which showcases a image that could actually be scary if the image didn't have over 20 blurry effects, that causes the image to be completely disfigured and barely comprehensible. I think it's supposed to be loose hanging from the ceiling, but it could also be her standing on the couch, I don't really know, but the creator of the video realized that the image might be too hard to understand, so he kindly gave us the rest of the video to figure it out. Yep, the so-called lost episode of the All House consists of two whole minutes of this image while the trash audio plays. But of course a creepypasta video wouldn't be complete without a poorly made jump scare. It's funny how the image has nothing to do with the actual show, it's just a random woman screaming. And this particular image is probably taken from Google, it might be this one that I found in a 2 minute search, but slightly edited. And after that jump scare, the video ends with the distorted outro of the show. Yay! The second video we will be taking a look is called This, which translated from Spanish means The All House Creepypasta The Path of Sadness. 
You might be wondering right now why I choose a Spanish video. And that's because I wasn't able to find any more creepypasta videos in English. Apparently this low effort scary type of video is really popular in Brazil and Spain, but not in America. The video starts with Bonnie asking for my like and subscribe. Hell yeah! And as expected, the whole video is in Spanish, with the narrator being a bad text-to-speech AI, just like the ones I used in my older videos. The narrator starts the story by saying he was bored at night in his room, so he decided to see what was on TV. He viewed some channels until he saw that an episode of The All House would play at 4am which according to him, it was a strange schedule for the show. This actually made me remind about those 3am and 4am videos that YouTubers will do for clickbait, like calling Slenderman at 3am, or drinking the Among Us potion at 3am. Anyways, back to the story. The episode of the show started with Luz crying and moaning about someone's death. And shortly after, it's revealed that the death in question was Amethyst, getting a clip where we see many known characters of the show wearing black clothes at their funeral, and an image of Amethyst's body. As you can see, both of these images are taken from the show, but with slight edits. Unfortunately, these edits rarely are well made in creepypasta videos, taking away the little horror element the video had. After the funeral, Lucy is taking a time to herself. Here we get another poorly made flashing image that reveals to us that apparently you killed Amity was the Golden Guard. However, while Lucy is thinking about all of this, she is approached by the real killer, a shadowy figure. The entity blames Luz for what happened to Amity and wants her to end herself. And when she refuses, the figure ends up killing her. And all of this happens in a really graphic scene. So much so that I'm risking my monetization by showing this clip. Lastima que no hayas querido aceptar tu destino de esta manera. The narrator claims that after the episode ended, the message Now it's your turn to suffer appeared on the screen. And blah blah blah, he's feared for life and stuff. The usual and original ending of Creepypastas. For the sake of my sanity, this will be the last video for today. And this one is called The All House Episode 666. Well, I don't know about you guys, but as far as I know, there are only 43 episodes of The Owl House, so I don't understand how possibly the creator of this creepypasta got to this number. Alright, jokes aside, I know that he gave this title to the video because the number 666 is considered creepy, I guess? Alright, let's just play the video. As expected, the narrator is a text-to-speech AI again, this time in Brazilian Portuguese. O de The Owl House foi quando eu ia assistir um episódio do desenho, mas no momento que eu ia... And we are immediately introduced to this poorly edited PNG of Luz. So little effort was put into editing this image that I was able to replicate it in one minute in Photoshop. And that's about it for the video visuals and audio. The whole video is just this image with the text-to-speech AI talking over it. But okay, the visuals aren't great and the audio is bad, but what about the plot of the creepypasta? It's bad too. The plot of this episode consists in Luz being cooked by the lunch lady of the school and her friends eating her. I believe a 6th grader could have come up with a better story. Even Sonic EXE is more scary than this quote-unquote creepypasta, if we can even call it that. The video summed up is an unscary JPEG, a text-to-speech audio mixed with a random ambience music, and a poorly made story that couldn't even scare a 5-year-old.
As expected, none of these creepypasta videos were actually scary. That's because their creators didn't invest sufficient time in them, which is a common issue in these types of videos. So much so that if you compare recent creepypastas to old ones, you can barely tell the difference. In conclusion, you're better off just watching analog horror. And that was the video. Remember to subscribe if you've been liking the content recently, and see you soon.